darlings to my channel today we're going to do a very very exciting video that i was planning to do it for a while now but i was just waiting for the right time like always um this is something different because obviously most of the videos i'm doing on fashion on style elegant different type of style some kind of garment piece of the garments that um are quite more uh, quite elegant and they are like a uh, great pieces to have if you want to create very like versatile wardrobe but not today today we're going to do a video about what's in my hospital bag because i am due in october it's end of the well it's not end it's middle of september just now so we'll ha still have some time um, if I need something else, uh, but um, I wanted to do the video to show you what I'm taking to hospital because I am actually not taking a lot of things. I am this kind of person that likes to have less rather than more when it comes to going to hospital and giving a birth. This is my second pregnancy and I watch so many videos on YouTube and I like really like them, you know, to watch what other uh, ladies taking to hospital what they packing and I found that they taking really really a lot and I wanted to do a little bit different video because um, I don't really take so much you know so I feel like for some of you who are this kind of in this kind of mental state that you don't really need so much like I am then this video might be quite useful because I really am taking like the necessary things I'm not taking anything like Oh, maybe I will have a feeling to wear that or maybe I will have a feeling to wear that. No, I'm just taking like one of each thing what I really, really need and that's all, you know. I'm not going to go crazy with amount of pyjamas or amount of cosmetic or something like this. I like to have things that I need. I like to be more like realistic when it comes to this kind of stuff. And uh, I also have my own like plan not to stay in hospital for a long time. Um, last time when I was giving birth with my first pregnancy, I stay only for one night. This time, if I don't need to spend a night, then I would be very, very happy to just go like after... Uh, I spoke with my midwife actually, how is it in Scotland? And minimum time you need to stay in hospital after giving a birth, it's six hours. So I am planning to really push it and just stay as little as I can. After said that, I think it's going to be interesting to show you going to what is coming with me to hospital. Uh, if you are here first time, my name is Carolina and um, I hope you're going to enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and uh, I upload videos three times a week. So be, um, I would be very, very happy if you would subscribe and see other videos as well. So the first thing which you actually need to take to hospital, I'm not going to pack that yet in my bag because I still have a... I think two more appointments with my midwife. You're taking your like a maternity book. That's what you need to take with you. There are all the notes, all the information for like hospital. Um, we're going to find them uh, over here. All your details, all your like midwife details as well. So you obviously need some kind of document. Um, I'm also going to take like my um, driving license with me to hospital. So they have, I'm, I'm having some kind of like a ID with me. Um, well, we're going to start, I think we just open it. Itself is, this is the smallest bag. I have a set of like luggages. You can see the bigger one over there. I have a set of luggages. This is the smallest. I think I'm, this is everything what I'm going to take, you know. I'm not separating for my child. I'm not separating for myself. Everything goes in one bag. It's just going to be easier to carry one thing rather than four different bags, for example. That's just like my personal um, experience, my personal opinion. But obviously, if you feel like you prefer to have a baby stuff separately and your stuff separately, you know, by all means, do whatever you feel. Do whatever you f it, it feels right for you. <laughs> Okay, so obviously the like a standard luggage has two sides, has basically two compartments. One side I actually put the baby stuff, another another is 
basically this area is my stuff um, and we're going to start I think with baby because you know it's just easier okay so baby stuff also have some medical stuff because um, I could just literally feed them over there I'm taking one pack of wet nappies this is from um, Mamia sensitive this is from Aldi like this is our the like favorite and uh, wet napkins wet napkins did I say wet nappies wet napkins and uh, one pack 64 baby wet wipes enough absolutely enough it's even more than enough i'm also thinking for myself um i have a pay but like a back problem um when it's like cold you know i just feel like um like in my natural like every day i sometimes feel like i, I need to have some kind of something that warms me warms me up um so i'm taking like a pain relief uh heat um, plasters or patches and uh, those I'm not sure if I'm going to use it just in case because I know that um, you know I, I can get cold over in a hospital if I only need to stay over the night so um, this is just like one plaster just to put it on your back and it just warms up uh, when you're wearing it it's, it's just a great thing if you have like back problems like I do we're taking one pack of uh, Asda. I bought Asda one because of the size of this pack. So that's going to be absolutely enough. This is from one point... Um, it actually says that it's one... Two and a half kilogram, 24 nappies. This is going to be more than enough. Um, however, I need to say first time when I... With my first baby, I didn't take enough nappies. I took maybe like seven or something and then eventually i was taking some from hospital and i also was asking some moms and then my partner came and brought me another pack but i remember i didn't have enough nappies so from my experience i would highly recommend you to take a pack like this with 24 nappies should be enough if you first and mom you as well um you don't necessarily know what you're doing so this is just completely normal you know so you are like if your baby i don't know P and then you're going to see on the nappies there's like a blue line that actually the nappy is already like doesn't say that it's full but it's just that your baby pee and you see the blue line and you're like okay time to change the nappy and doesn't even mean that the nappy is full but you are like constantly changing those nappies even they are not really full they could still the baby could still wear it um and then eventually you're using so many nappies that, um, well, <laughs> that you are like missing some. So I think one pack of those, great size as well to put it in the bag. It's just um, absolutely enough. And those are for like newborn. Um, my son was 3.25 kilogram. I'm going to put it how much it was in pounds. Um, so he was a really big baby, which was great. And I already spoke with like, I had a um, scan recently done. And they told me that the second baby is very similar size to uh, my first baby. So it's probably going to be similar size, like it's going to be quite small baby. Um, or like more like normal size. It's not going to be big, it's not going to be very small. It's just like a normal size, um, three kilogram baby, you know. So those nappies should be absolutely fine for him. But when it comes to cosmetics, I actually didn't have a bag before, but I brought a bag with me. Um, and I will very go quickly with those and I will tell you why as well I'm taking some makeup. Um, when I gave birth last time, there was, um, I, know, I was thinking like, I don't really need makeup. I just, you know, want to give birth, want to go home, don't want to think about this. However, I'm just giving you really realistic like advice here as well. There was actually a newspaper coming to the hospital and they were taking pictures of that day, um, babies that they were born in the hospital. And we obviously agreed that yes, we would like to have a picture in the newspaper as well. Uh, with our son, you know, first son and... Um, I didn't have any makeup on me <laughs> and I have this picture you know I can show you here like I just literally regret that I didn't have even something like BB cream or CC cream just to like make it look my face a little bit more like or like less tired because obviously my face looks really tired and for that reason you never know maybe there will be a newspaper if from your town and they're going to take a picture you know and you're going to have this picture forever this is the first picture of you your son your, your child newborn child and your partner 
So I think for that reason it would be nice to have at least some kind of basic cosmetic. I'm not saying that there will be newspaper in your hospital, but prepare yourself, you know, even this kind of first pictures of you, your family, um, and you don't really want to look like you're super tired. That's, that's why I obviously want to look more like healthy, more fresh. It's not about having like a full makeup on or anything like that. It's just to have feel a little bit more like you after giving a birth you know giving a birth it's a really big experience in woman life so it can be sometimes traumatic it can be very like positive so just preparing yourself to have something with you that actually can be useful and give you this kind of feeling of freshness i think it's worth it to take at least a few products with you to hospital even if you are not really a makeup person you know because you're going to take some kind of pictures of your newborn baby i can go guarantee you that and you're going to even hold him so you want to you don't necessarily want to have um like me <laughs> this news in the uh, this picture from the newspaper you don't really want to look so tired so for that reason i'm taking a little um ikea bag for me with this kind of like um a ceiling over here and i will put all my cosmetic there first thing what i highly recommend and this is like so many people from beauty industry can tell you this is a really great product it's a it um cosmetic it's a cc plus um like a concealer type of foundation so you can just put that on your face you don't need to have a primer you don't need to have anything extra it's just going to give you like a nice type of like freshness it has its s50 spf in it so you don't need to take your sunscreen to your hospital to put it separately so this is just one product that has everything in it on top of that it has as well um hyaluronic acid acid which is like ser serum which is really great you know so overall this kind of uh, product i think it costs 14 pounds for the small one i have a in a shade of co shade called light i um, should really have a little bit lighter color than this but you know I have it so I need to use it now um, there comes in a bigger as well um, size but um, this is just perfect size for this kind of reason to go into hospital you know really good product you just need something like this and you're really going to feel um, better you know if you're going to take some kind of picture another thing is a lip balm this is, um, I'm not taking it because I'm like obsessed off with my lips, but I heard so many stories of ladies that they were feeling that their lips are getting like super dry during the labor and they re regretted they didn't have anything with them. So for that reason, I'm just taking, I didn't have that in my first like pre labor, but I don't want to have this kind of feeling, you know, that something is bothering me. So it's such a small lip balm that I'm going to just take it with me just for like, um, just in case, you know. Another thing, I'm taking like a um, um, huh, brown pencil because I feel like brows, if you do your brows like even a little bit, it can really give you um, like a nice finish to your face, nice like a frame to your face. So even those are really free type of uh, cosmetics, like makeup cosmetics that I'm taking. Obviously the lip balm is completely clear so it doesn't have any color and i think that's going to be completely enough for me and having those two really those two products and the lip balm um it's it's okay you know like if you're feeling like you need more you need your uh, primer you need maybe your foundation you obviously do you but i am like i said on the beginning i just want to take less than more to hospital i like to have less stuff than more stuff um, that was the like makeup product. I'm also taking with me a um, small. Actually, don't need the. I actually don't need the packaging. You know, like I can just take my uh, small like a sample um, toothpaste. So that goes in my bag as well. I have a small like Nivea. This is uh, antiperspirant. That's what I'm taking with me, and little tiny little Duff um, shower like um, body wash, body wash, because you need something after giving a birth. Um, I didn't know that as well, like how does it work? You going to sh take shower or not? In my situation, because I know that sometimes like, they are feeling so like hurt, you know, they are rip down there. So they don't really want to take shower straight away. And um, so obviously it depends, you know, what kind of situation you're going to have. 
but I highly recommend if you can have a bath, like if you can have a, a shower after your labor, it's just going to give you this cleanness feeling, kind of feeling that you are again yourself, you know, a little bit more yourself. And obviously your partner stay with baby at that time. Um, so having some kind of even tiny little bottle of body wash, it's just a good idea, you know. Another thing when I'm taking to hospital, which maybe it's not necessary, but I remember last time that I needed something like this. I had a little sample, so if I will get my Scottish box, should come really soon, because it's coming four weeks before your labor. We have like a box that is, um, basically government gives you like little clothes, little stuff for mama, for a baby, um, and... Basically, there are little samples of this product. This is really genius product. It's basically like a nipple cream. So when your baby obviously is attaching to your um, nipples, your nipples obviously getting sore sometimes. And this cream, like this rescue my nipples so many times. I didn't have a full uh, package last time. I had so many samples. So if I have a sample, I'm just going to take a little sample of it to hospital. But as I'm saying, they come in this... Um, baby box so if they will be there I will just change this one and leave I will leave this one at home but this is really let me just show you this is really amazing product when it comes to protecting you protecting your nipples you know because obviously when you're breastfeeding your nipples can get sore um, and this is just just amazing I this is amazing product but I'm going to right now put it in my bag because just in case if you know if I don't have a samples I'm also taking little actually this little it's already <laughs> quite used for because I'm using it on my own other son a uh, Bepanthen that's like a nappy for nappy rash just in case you know it's such a small package such a small amount left inside so I like to um, just in case you know I like to have that with me just for a baby and that's really all my cosmetics i need to just pack my toothbrush but that's going to be literally um you know the day i'm going to the hospital that's it then i have some stuff for a baby obviously the only thing what is maybe not necessary that i got it from for my like baby shower is this little rabbit because it's super cute <laughs> so i'm going to take that it's like a form of a blanket as well so if the baby let's say would vomit or have some kind of milk over there you can just use it to as well clean it um, i'm taking obviously some clothes for a baby uh, babies are obviously like my baby when my son when he born he was really small so i am following this kind of like uh, thinking that it's going to be very similar size to my that's what they told me as well this is for 3.2 kilogram newborn baby and i highly recommend you to take some newborn stuff rather than like first month stuff first month stuff or first month clothes are going to be just too big for a newborn baby so it's good to have like really really small type of clothes obviously if your baby is going to be bigger then you know then it's a little bit different story but normally when we we had this kind of situation that if there is some kind of like a if your midwife think that the baby might be bigger than like normal size of the baby then they're going to do they do scans and they checking like what is the size right now and obviously they inform you about this that's at least how it's in scotland I'm taking one muslim uh, muslim um how you call it, blanket or muslim just like a cloth that's just like again if you would vomit it's just good, good to have something to clean your baby one blanket like a white blanket it's going to be october so obviously you want to have some kind of a blanket with you hospital obviously gives you some kind of blankets but you know just for your your own like that you brought your own stuff when it comes to clo clothes I'm taking one hat that it's going to be like uh, when we leave the hospital so it's going to be like an outside hat um, just one don't really need more than this um, and I had this somewhere I want to show you because I would like to go some kind of system one hat inside so this is when the baby is born they tend to put hat inside the hospital like when it's in the this kind of like a plastic you know baby box baby bed let's call it next to you so they uh, normally tend tell you to put some kind of hat on your baby uh, just to not get cold i remember my son as well get this kind of problem that he was very cold after giving a birth so we even put like extra layers on him so that's what i'm preparing myself as well to have a little bit more like extra layers just in case 
my second son as well going to have the same like problem of being a little bit too cold so two hats one hat outside one hat indoor and then obviously you need some kind of like a bot basic layer so this is going to be the layer that comes first on your baby again this is all in uh, newborn size so it's like a very very small you don't need a lot of them i am taking i think this is one this is another one i have all, all in white you know all stuff like pro are more like white um so yeah i think i'm taking only Oh yeah, that's a third one. So I'm taking three of those, so like a basic layer, just in case if he would get dirty. Three, yeah. So that's just my three. And then I am taking, um, I'm actually going to check if I need so many because it looks like, okay, I am taking one of those, like this is the second layer you put your baby. So this is like a, you can call it like a slippers or pyjama basically. Another one that is blue. another white one this one is i think a little bit bigger just in case you know that he would be slightly bigger but we're talking just like centimeters you know one centimeter bigger here or there um so yeah so i have three of those no i have four of those because i have as well this one with cows so we'll take four do i really need four no i don't think i need four i feel like you see that's that's good to go through stuff again because um Sometimes it's just no point. So yeah, cows are not going with us. We're going to just take three of those like a sleeper layers. Like I'm saying, I'm not planning to even stay at night. So three, it's already a lot. Just in case, you know, he would really get dirty. He would poo himself or something like this. And I wouldn't like um, notice and didn't change him on time. On top of that, I'm taking two um, little trousers. When you're buying trousers for a newborn baby, it's quite important and quite... I would say necessary don't buy trousers that they don't have a socks already on it so those are like much better when you already have like his feet are going to be covered you know no really point to buy and then if you want to buy separately socks it's so hard to actually put a sock on a newborn baby because the feet are so small um, so it's just better to have I'm taking two, two pair of trousers like those already buy with um, socks like attached to the trousers that's just like my tip for you it's just so much better two of those and as I'm saying if you would be very cold then I would put those on top of the uh, slippers that's what we've done last time with my son and then we also put this kind of um, like a jacket I would say like a little cotton um, jacket on top of him just so he was really really warm because he was really getting he was losing temperature you know so I'm taking one jacket like this and I have another slightly similar jacket like that. So two pair of trousers, two pair of jackets, just for this kind of reason that you, he would he could get a cold, you know? You want to have some kind of layers with you and a rabbit. That's it when it comes to uh, clothes. Oh, sorry, for, forgot to tell you. I'm also taking, which is, however, I'm not sure if I'm going to take those. Those are like an extra shoes type of socks because obviously newborn doesn't need a shoes, but no, I'm not taking those. So I have a trousers with those socks and all the sleeping things. I have a socks as well. So that's going to be it for my uh, baby. The only thing that I don't have yet uh, for my like baby on my baby's side is like a jacket, proper jacket. It's going to be October. So we obviously need something that is going to be like a jacket for him and didn't pack that yet still didn't decide which one i'm going to take i have quite a few after obviously all my clothes <laughs> i'm trying to find a oh god good position for me here and it's not easy so obviously i'm going to decide on the jacket later on it doesn't need to be in the um in the basically luggage just yet um i'm also taking with me a uh, two um like um bra pads i think um like uh, breast pads so if you're breastfeeding your breast can obviously leak a little bit so i'm just going to taking one pair this is such a small thing you know to take with you just in case because you don't want to get all wet you know one little pad like a always pad 
Um, and I'm going to explain that in a second. I'm also taking two, this is very like a little, as you can see, it's very thin. Um, this one I like much more thicker, those are like maxi when it comes to like leaking, you know, with blood. Um, I'm taking the two thick one. Um, and I'm also, but I'm not really a fan of those kind of pads when you actually, after giving the birth, I am a big fan of uh, like a sexy <laughs> grandma underwear, you know, because you have already your underwear, you have like a pants and you have already built inside pad here, you know, so you basically put that on and then you just threw it away once you finish. And I think that's just like so much better, you know. Um, after giving a birth last time, I remember I had only those, only I took like four pack of those and I remember my um, lady who was like helping me, you know, who helped me with labor, she said actually that it's better after labor to wear your own pants and a pad. For what is reason why it's better? I don't know, I still wear those because I didn't have my underwear, like I only took those because I knew that I'm going to bleed so much um, that it's not really point to take underwear and pads but they said that the first like few hours it's better to wear your own underwear and wear and take those kind of like a thicker pads so I am just doing this because they like recommend that more rather than straight away wear those granny pads uh, pants with pads already so for that reason, you know, I'm taking my own black underwear. Black is the best because obviously it's going to be really messy after labor. It's going to be really like a lot of, you're going to lose a lot of blood. It's just natural, you know, normal. So having some kind of, so I'm taking two parts just so I can have that like a after, just after birth. And I'm also taking two granny under, uh, actually I'm not taking only two. Like two would be not enough for that, you know. I'm taking actually four, four of those granny underwear that you can just put it on. Once it's dirty, you just throw it to the bin and forget about this. You know, you don't need to think about this anymore. Where in this situation, obviously, you still have your pants on and you're just changing a pad, which, well, you choose what you like, you know. I am taking those just because it was recommended that straight after giving birth, it's better to do that. A little bit more like brief your because you your you know body obviously need to breathe as well so that just gives you a little bit more like fresh air and like circulation over there where those don't so much but let's say i will have this two hours after and i would still put after those you know for i'm wearing those um if you're interested after like giving a birth if i first time i didn't have any ripness so i was like good with feeling that i didn't have any like stitches or anything and uh, I was wearing those for I think about 10 days after 10 days my bleeding stopped it wasn't so hard anymore so I could just wear those very very thin pads for another maybe week after because you have still little little bit bleeding but just tiny and I'm taking the, the tiny one not even thinking why I'm taking I, I, I remember I had a reason why I'm taking this but I'm going to take one just in case um so yeah four granny pads two normal like maxi pads and my one pair of underwear that's it you don't need more underwear because you have your granny pads another thing that i feel like it's so crucial like you can't go to hospital without that like you can't it's a peri bottle and they obviously give you one after giving a birth but this one actually i saw in another youtuber and I'm so grateful I did because um, I even talked to my friend, she's pregnant uh, and I said to her, you need to buy that as well. So normally when they give you a peri bottle, they are look, look very similar. They just have little like a finish here. When you, um, after giving a birth, you're going to the toilet to pee, to do stuff and you're filling up with warm water. And during when you pee, you pull this water on your ladies parts, just it helps you doesn't feel so like stiff, doesn't feel like so painful when you're peeing. Because obviously everything is fresh over there, everything is very like a, um, red and everything is just like very, very um, gentle. You just need to be very gentle with yourself in those first few days 
for a few weeks um, for me I think it was first three days it was really like painful so the peri bottle was like blessing and after it was just getting better and better but this is not the normal like peri bottle I will put a picture of the normal one just so you can see um, and when you're actually using the normal one you are spreading this all over yourself you know so it is a little bit messy uh, for that reason, I saw this one. So you still fill it up with warm water from the sink. Basically, when you're going to the toilet, you fill it up first with hot water, warm water, the temperature that you're obviously comfortable with. When you pee, you just like push it from this end is going to go out the, the warm water on your lady parts. And this way you're not going to get so messy like with this normal peri bottle, because normal peri bottle is just like doesn't have obviously this kind of extension and that which allows you to like avoid little bit getting so messy you know so this cost nine pounds from amazon i'm going to put a link on the um, in the description below i just feel like this is nine, the best nine pounds you can spend you know um, and especially if you're going first time to hospital they're obviously going to give you the normal pre bottle but this is genius this must be a woman she must create this <laughs> because it's such a simple thing but it's just like so so helpful so necessary and you're really going to use your peri bottle either way you know so i am having then a lovely package from my peri bottle love it um so yeah so that goes this actually can go to baby section and i can close that now so i show you everything in that part like i'm saying i just need to put his jacket i need to choose which one i like also have very important if you have a long hair you need some kind of um you got buns just a bun you know i have a silk one um i started like liking them very much so i'm taking two just in case and another thing ladies that i watched recently and i do some research about when you're getting to the labor um there's something like sensors obviously in your hand that when you actually press in the same time when you have a contraction so you hold it this way basically and you're pressing um, two combs through your hand the same moment when you have your contractions those sensors are coming first to your brain and you don't feel such a pain through your contractions i uh, spoke with a few um, ladies who use those already and they said that they would never never ever in the world get bear, give birth without a combs combs cost me like three pounds i think for two you don't need massive one it is about just like pressing you know those um, sharper edges basically to your hands just so the sensor can react and your brain can like take this as a first feeling like a first like let's say pain but it's not really so strong you obviously when you're in the labor you know contractions are very strong they are very painful so when you're pressing you know with your hands then obviously you're going to have even marks you know which is just absolutely normal you know it's the pain of the contraction is quite strong so pressing is just allows this to go to the brain first and you don't really feel so much pain through the contractions you know i never tried that before so just saying this is my first time i'm going to use two combs during my labor i'm so excited about those by the way um again i bought them on amazon i'm going to link those two on the description box box if you're interested but i'm going to give you an update if those actually works how i feel about them if i would have them again during the labor uh, but i had really really great opinion about combs during the labor and i never heard about this before so it's i think it's important for ladies as well to spread the word when it comes to stuff like this because we need to all help each other out if we can take some pain from ourselves more like natural way then why not uh, last time in the hospital when i stayed overnight i was ladies starving i was just literally starving um, and that's obviously everyone's a, a different opinion, different like experience. Everyone is a little bit different when it comes to that. For me, breastfeeding as well. Um, obviously, you don't really breastfeed your newborn baby so much like in the next uh, after a couple of weeks. Um, it's it's just starting. The process starts. You know, some ladies they go back to home and they just have after three days milk. So it's all different, really. It's all different, but. I had a milk straight away uh, after labor. I had even like before labor, I had a milk already waiting um, for a baby to suck on it. But I remember I was like so hungry after labor. It finished about eight o'clock and there was no food 
anywhere in the hospital, the restaurant was closed. So for that reason, I'm prepared with three packs of my favorite protein bars because I know that if I will have two of those, I'm just going to be full, honestly. This is Trek, this is like one of my favorite coconut uh, with chocolate. This one is Oat, which is really great. And the Berry Delight. It's just to get me through the night. If I will stay over the night, because let's say it's going to be so late, then I just need something to snack on. Just need something. Get into it, ladies. Next thing, uh, what I didn't really pack yet, and I'm going to pack it later on as well, is a pyjama, because I am still sleeping in that pyjama, so it's not going to happen yet. Um, I'm taking one pair of socks. I showed you before, I've taken one pair of uh, underwear. I'm taking cable. I forgot that last time, so this was my mistake. Um, cable, I just need this um, adapter as well. Need to find it. Um, just for your phone, obviously. Um, sometimes you can't sleep over the night when you have a newborn baby. You're just looking at him or her. And it's just good to have something you can just kill the time on, you know? Maybe a book or something. Uh, but obviously when it's uh, dark, everybody else is sleeping, you know, you have other moms with other babies in the hospital, in the room, um, then you can't really put the lights on. So for that reason, having a phone, you know, I think it's just something great to have. You need to have a charger with you. I'm taking with me uh, like uh, black, um, good things, takes time. This is my labor actually shirt so i am like taking giving a birth wearing this that's what i was doing last time um but i know that some ladies get those kind of like a hospital um hospital like uh, gowns i was giving a birth having my own gown like a gown like a long t-shirt or short dress if you if you like in a black color because obviously when you're giving birth it's quite messy as well so you don't want anything light a towel. I didn't take a towel last time, imagine. So the hospital were uh, giving me a towel and it was not easy to find a towel in hospital. Take some kind of dark, again, towel because after having a birth, you would like to take, a, ideally, you would like to take a shower. Taking one jumper, just so I feel warm. Again, I remember last time I was quite cold in the hospital. Hospitals are not really, oh, not very, very warm places. I'm going to take one t-shirt, one pair of leggings as well. I'm going to pack it in a second. Um, what else I'm taking, ladies? I'm taking one pair of shoes that are like uh, um, black flip-flops, just because I can go through, do the shower with those. I can just wear them if I really need to walk, but I don't really feel like I need to walk so much. When you have a newborn baby, you don't really want to leave it alone. Um, but yeah taking those with me and uh, another blanket this time in the blue color just so I have extra layer for him because as I'm saying we had a little bit issue last time that my son who was very very cold and we were like putting honestly so many layers and after one hour the, the nurse were coming checking his temperature again so it was a bit, obviously a little bit stressed for us just to make sure the baby is um, warm just need to take my leggings, my pyjama, uh, pack those and I am set. I'm also taking with me, um, during the last labor, I literally drank a ton of water. And I'm not joking, I'm, I had, I think, four liters of water during the last labor. My partner was just sitting and pulling the glass of glass, water after water after. I was just like, every contraction and every taking like gas. So I had a morphine and I had a gas with me and this was brilliant. Like those two together for me, amazing. <laughs> um, so after every gas, you still feel the pain, don't take me wrong, you still feel a lot of pain, but just you, this, this amount of gas and morphine together for me, you can manage the pain very easily and you can push, you know. The worst is when you have so much pain that you can't focus, you know. And for me, morphine and gas together give me this kind of opportunity that I could focus, still feeling obviously the pain, still it's painful, but it's man manageable. But anyway, after every time I took gas, I was so thirsty. I was just like, my, my throat was drying. Like, I'm not joking. I drank four liters of water. My, like, there was only nurses coming, fill it up the jar, and we had like a jar of water like this. 
I drank so much water. This time I'm going to take coconut water as well with me. I actually check their like research, proper research, and actually doesn't say, some people think that the coconut water have, gives you like more quicker, um, like it just gives you more like, um, hydrate you more. But actually the research shows that the water and coconut water gives you the same amount of hydration. So it doesn't really matter what you're going to drink. Um, I'm even like more prefer water than coconut water, but I'm still going to take it because it just has a little bit more electrolytes uh, in it. So for that reason, you know, I feel like two, having one or two bottles of coconut water is going to be good for me. Plus, I think I'm going to take maybe two normal bottles of water just to have it on the side, you know, because as I'm saying, this was my struggle. Like I really drink a lot. Like even during the pregnancy over the night, I will wake up five times sometimes just to go to kitchen and to have a glass of water, you know, it's like, I like to have my water. So <laughs> for that reason, I'm going to have um, some water with me as well. I yeah, and that's it. That's honestly it from my home. I'm obviously going to wear some kind of jumper when I'm going to hospital. And I'm also going to wear obviously some kind of shoes that are going to be like outside type of shoes. And that's it. Like, I don't want to stay in hospital no more than I need to. Obviously, if there is a situation that we need to stay in the hospital because a child needs that, they need to do some kind of extra research or something, then, then obviously, yes, we're going to stay in the hospital, but we live about 15 minutes from the hospital. So my partner, he can just bring me stuff. If I need more stuff, he, he can just bring them and that's it, you know, it's not end of the world. But I rather prepare myself on the best situation um, so I am, like I'm saying, everything in once, if you're planning to stay in hospital, then obviously it's a little bit different. But like I'm, like I'm saying, I don't, I, even if I don't need to spend a night, I don't want to spend a night because I have a little child at home. My sister is going to take care of him, but I still don't want to leave him, you know, I still don't want him to have this kind of uh, feeling that mommy is not there over the night. Like this never happened before. So it's, it's a little bit stressful and he's not even two. Um, so for that reason, I don't really want to stay in hospital. I just want to tell you as well that when I was first time in hospital, there was a moment uh, that I said to them that we want to leave after literally stay a night. So I went uh, to the labor, finished labor about half past eight, nine o'clock. I was already in the room with other ladies. My baby was there. We stayed a night and I think around four o'clock I said to them that we want to leave hospital today. 100% we're not going to stay another night. They were not really happy about this because when you are first time mom, they want you to stay just because of the breastfeeding. There's a very big push of breastfeeding in Scotland as well. Um, so if you like, I had one friend remember, she said to me that she's not going to breastfeed at all. And I said like, you know, girl, you do you, you know, you, nobody can tell you what is right for you or for your body, for your baby. You just do you. And that's nobody's business, honestly. You want breastfeed, you breastfeed. If you don't, you don't. That's it. And I remember she had so much hate from the, you know, like, staff, hospital staff, that she doesn't want to breastfeed, you know? Like, she's already bad mother. And I feel like... But honestly, like, I feel um, it's your decision and nobody can really... Nobody should really get into your decision when it comes to your baby. Um, just wanted to say that when I was in the hospital, four o'clock, I said to them that we're going to leave hospital 100% sure for to today. We're not going to stay another night. Um, and they were not really happy about this, but from another point of view, they tell you, they like when they're coming to you once in five hours, because they are not there for you all the time to like be there and guide you. That's just not the case, you know? I had a lovely hospital, hospital staff were really amazing, but they don't have time for you, that's the reality. Even they told me, if you go home, you're probably going to have your mom, you're going to have your granny or your friends or your sister, maybe some kind of best friend is going to be there for you and they're going to like take care of you as well. But in hospital, there's so many moms, there's so many people, moms giving birth, you know, moms who already gave birth in the same room with you. I have like six other ladies, six other babies crying around. And once one cries and another cries and, you know, you are like, you feeling like in <laughs> hospital, but in like psychiatric section. So I just didn't want to stay there, you know? I just didn't feel like I want to, st I don't want to stay there. I want to be in my house with my partner, we just, I want to take care of my baby. Nobody need to be there for me. And uh, nobody need to like get crazy about this, you know? And I remember they just, 
it took and I'm not joking here, it took about six hours to actually sign the document from the moment I told them I want to leave hospital, you need to do all the do all the like um, things with the baby, like check the hearing and everything today because we're not staying, we're just not staying, we're going to leave if you're not going to finish your job, we're going to just leave, you know, and sometimes you just need to put a little bit pressure on people because um, if, they, if they could, they would keep you there for three days minimum just so they can like don't really need to do all the um, tests today, you know, we can do it tomorrow or something. And the only thing was for them that I obviously didn't breastfeed very well straight away because, you know, you never had an experience. So um, they just told me that, okay, you can go to home, but you need to, like, we need to send to your house a breastfeeding team um, just so they can show you, they can check on you. And I said, that's absolutely fine, you know, that's great. I'm very happy about this. I would love someone to actually sit with me and show me because those ladies, those uh, nurses from the hospital, they didn't have time to even sit with me. I'm literally saying to you, like, I'm honestly so busy with other stuff. They don't have time for you over there. So telling me that someone actually is going to come to my house just for me to actually show me how to breastfeed, I'm super happy about this. So the ladies came next day and even those ladies, they actually have an office in the hospital, but they don't really provide the service in the hospital. They're only going to people's houses. And they said they completely understand me why I've done it because in hospital, there's no one really have time for you like personally. And that's why they created this kind of team for uh, moms. So when you're going home, the breastfeeding team is coming to your house, helping you, showing you so many different positions, like, telling you that you're doing great, you know, this kind of really good atmosphere. And so they came first day and I next, I think, day, I still felt like, you know, I still need someone. So I think eventually I called them like three times and every time they came, every time they were so, so like blessing for me. They helped me so much. Um, so for that reason, you know, we have this kind of team in uh, Lanarkshire when we live, when they're actually coming to your house and they're helping you. So if you worry about maybe breastfeeding, I feel like hospital doesn't really give you so much anyway because they are so busy and if you have this kind of option in your area when someone actually can come to your house and show you from your um, NHS or whatever it's like health system you have in your country, then use that because then they are only there for you and they're focusing 100% for you and nobody really like bothers them or anything. They're just there for you and for your baby. Okay, ladies. <sighs> This is going to be a very long video, but I hope uh, some of you are going to be interested. You know, I was really interested in those videos, but I felt like so many moms out there who are just taking so much stuff. And I'm just not like that, you know. I completely understand if you want to have more stuff. That's fine, you know. You need to do what's right for you. But I am the person who actually prefer to have a less, st less stuff with me and not feeling like if I have too much, I just my head is not in the right space. So it's better for me to have actually less. Less is better. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up because it's really supporting my channel. And I know it's different type of video than normally I do. But once in a while, I'm going to upload different video for you as well. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video.